Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I cannot believe today is finally the day. It's 7.36. It's early. I'm already having my coffee. I have been waiting for this day for over a month and a half. Hey, my girl. Yeah. Oh, big. I've missed you so much. Yeah, I've missed you, my big girl. So basically, we're just gonna follow my dog around while I tell you guys the story of mine and hers relationship. Oh, she might just chill. I love that. So everybody, meet Indy. She was my sweet pup. I still consider her my sweet angel for a child. So a few months ago, um, we're getting close to probably about half a year now, actually. We, um, Scott and I decided that it was best to rehome her. Look at how cute she is, hi. You got a stick in your fur. It's a stick. No, you can't eat it. It's a stick. Oh, <laughs> hi. Yeah, big girl. Will you do that thing that, that dogs do? Indy! My heart's broken. So as you guys can see, this is a lot different of a video that I would usually do, but uh, this week I was fortunate enough to be able to reunite with my pooch. So I named her Indigo because I thought it'd be funny. She's all white, but uh, short uh, indie for short. Um, also because I really like indie music. But yeah, so I think it's really cool. It's really awesome that I get a half your hair for the week. It's honestly been such a treat. So, yeah, I don't really know if I'll have an intro or an outro for this. I think this is just going to be kind of a weird piece by piece kind of video with just footage of me and my dog together for the week. It's kind of a dog vlog, I guess. <laughs> so, basically, um I got I got this pooch in 2015 uh, after I graduated high school and um, she's my best friend. She uh, she came up on an ad on, uh, I think it was on Facebook um, and it seemed a little sketchy kind of thing and so when we got her uh, she was uh, posted as a husky and when we, when, when we got her, oh my gosh, that was a really sketchy situation. Hey, you were such a small pup. Yeah. So these two women came, they asked to meet at a Tim Hortons parking lot. So we meet at a Tim Hortons parking lot. We got there first, about, you know, five, ten minutes later, they roll in. A uh, loud, loud vehicle and uh, with like windows smashed out and like uh, covered with garbage bags. It was weird. Super sketchy. And then these two large women walk out in what looked like children's bed sheets wrapped around them and then just kind of tucked under their uh, tatas, come out hacking darts and everything. And then uh, 
they're holding little Indy. She just looks just in one palm kind of thing because she was just so tiny. And uh, she was ashing her cigarette in my dog's fur. So I immediately grabbed her, gave her the money, and we, like, left. We were like, okay, thanks, bye. Like, it was just so weird and sketchy, but I was like, no, give me my dog. And But the town we got her in was really big for puppy milling, so I don't know what kind of situation this, this pooch was in. So then we got these really sketchy photos of her parents because we kind of questioned it after we got her. We were kind of like, what the heck kind of dog is this, you know? They are like, no, she's a husky. These are her parents kind of thing. And they sent us pictures of like colored huskies, um, which Indy's not at all colored in any way. <laughs> so we we're kind of a little confused. And I know things can happen with a dog. You know, I totally get it. Um, not all dogs come out looking exactly like their parents, but, uh, but we were just still a little hmm about it. So for years and years and years, you know, we thought, oh, maybe she could be this, maybe she could be that. So for the longest time, we thought she was an American Eskimo. But when her new parents came over and really met with her and like took a good look at her, they realized, oh, she's actually a Spitz. Yeah, and she's definitely mixed with some lab. Uh, she, <laughs> my pooch has some lab in hers. So I ended up needing to rehome her when we moved into this apartment because we grew up in the country and I didn't want to bring her in town where she's not going to be able to really run free. We don't really have that big of a backyard. She's not used to being on a leash. So we ended up rehoming her and she has been having the time of her life. They have a lot of property, a lot of uh, land, lots of woods and some field for her to run in. So it is really, really awesome. They love her so much and she loves them so, so much. And I guess they used to have a dog that looked really similar to Indy and her name was Tilly. So I thought that was really, really awesome. So when they saw Indy and they were, they were like, yeah, we can, we can definitely take her. Um, they were really excited because I guess they, I guess Miss, Miss Indy Roo, Miss Indy looks like uh, their old dog. But yeah, so Miss Indy's new parents are in england right now because they went back home to go visit some family and friends yeah and they couldn't bring indy with them so they so they wanted us to of course watch her because they we were the first ones they thought of and we said of course we would take her so she's been doing amazing at the apartment this week which is so so amazing to see she's been doing so good yeah You've been such a good girl, but I am still really happy that I rehomed her um, to to like where she is still staying in the country because she's truly a country dog. I she <laughs> she's not really one for in town, but that's okay. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. And she slept in our bed. Oh my gosh. Oh, she wasn't really one to sleep in sleep in our beds, but you know, she was she was with us right from a puppy. So in the beginning she slept in a bed and then she's she liked her crate for a while and then she just slept on the couch and you know, so she always picked her different places to sleep in the house, but because this apartment is new to her, she was she was a little hmm you know, a little iffy, so she, the first two nights, she crawled into bed with us and laid at the bottom and stole mine and Scott's blankets. <laughs> Didn't you? Yeah. So that was cute. And then the third night, uh, I think she tried to get into bed and then she ate um, because <laughs> she couldn't jump up and then she just laid on the floor beside the bed and then last night, she just slept out on the couch here. You big comfy girl, yeah. She just slept here last night. Um, she dragged me across the street through an intersection like it was for us to walk but uh, she my feet didn't leave the ground um, so that was fun I'm sure the everybody at the intersection were was getting a good laugh I'm gonna really miss having a dog Scott and I have been thinking about getting a dog um, but it's kind of hard because I feel like I'm almost betraying Indy um, you know but 
I know I'm not at the same time. It's 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 weird. It really is weird. I, I feel like I'm betraying her, but I know I'm not at the same time because I know she's in like a really, really good, happy home and they love her so much. Oh my gosh. They love her so much and I love that they love her so much. Oh my gosh. So we've just hung out a bunch and you've shed a bunch. Look at all this. This is what it's like normally, you know. This is, You'll find like a hundred billion tufts of this all over the house with the way she like this is just from like that was just from me petting her like that entire time <laughs> oh my gosh Andy Ruth <gasps> yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> I decided to film now because I already had my crying session with her and she's like she's leaves tomorrow um but I still get emotional. I'm just still really happy that she was rehomed to people that we know and that uh, we obviously trust and love very much. And, uh, and they've done such a beautiful, amazing job with her. You're so cute, what the frick? Who taught you to be that cute? Am I bothering you? I'm sorry. Oh. Somebody come get her, she's dancing like a stripper. Somebody come get her, she's dancing like a stripper. <laughs> so Scott just came in and informed me that... Her, oh my god, I could cry right now, honestly. So basically... Um, her new mommy and daddy are going to be coming and getting her actually tonight. I guess they flew in early or something. I'm not entirely sure. But basically, we only have her for about another hour and a half. I'm so sad right now. Oh. <laughs> oh. It's so hard to be sad with you here. Oh. <laughs> Hi. So, Indy just left and... It's really hard because... I saw how well she did here at the apartment and it's like what if you know what if I did have her here and kept her but at the same time at the same time I know that it's so much better for her to be with what she's used to and what she knows which is like the country and she's known that for four and a half like five years so i didn't want to just completely uproot her like that and just change everything because i just didn't think she would do well with it i'm just so thankful for her new parents they're just so good to her and they love her so much and I'm just so thankful and blessed that I'm still in in Indy's life. I just miss her so much. It's just so hard. I knew that this week was going to be hard, but I had a really good week with her though. And she's so sweet. She does the funniest things, my god. 
God, I feel so dumb for crying, but like, it's like not at the same time because I'm just so emotional about my dog and that makes sense, but I feel dumb. Oh, fuck. Thank you.